gentlemen and ladies, old school games, not the AKA founder of werewolf in games. How, how? Um, in today's video, we are taking a look at the demo for the very uh, newly almost released Fluid Flux version 2.0 uh, plugin coming to the Unreal Engine marketplace. It's nuts. It's so cool. Um, if you've seen any of my previous videos, I had been playing around with Fluid Flux and just absolutely having my mind blown. Uh, version 2 looks even more outstanding. Now these are real simulated water waves uh, that will pick up your character's buoyancy location. You can actually kind of add float components to anything, any model, any character. Uh, if I find the ragdoll button I could show you where it is. There we go. Hold Q ragdoll button. Uh, you, what you'll notice is that the waves will actually have a simulating effect on the character's joints um, feet. It's kind of subtle, kind of hard to see actually. Let's uh, move a little bit further out so we can see that a little bit better. But uh, the water has actual push, actual sway. Things will float around in it. Kind of hard to see a little bit, but trust me, take my word for it. It is absolutely what this system does. And the really cool thing uh, then that I can see in Fluid Flux version 2, besides it being absolutely phenomenal, we have like rolling, breaking waves, uh, is that the size of the map looks really, really large. Before previously, Fluid Flux... Um, wow, I can really scroll out a lot. Before previously, Fluid Flux uh, was kind of limited to a smaller amount of location. Wow, I can really zoom out. Uh, now it almost, uh, from what I read, I believe you can simulate three by three kilometers or maybe even up to 10 by 10 kilometers. I, I, haven't, I have to recheck those notes, but it's a much more significant area. What you'll notice in particular is that over on the ocean side of things, we have ocean waves. Isn't that interesting, right? Ocean waves. But then as we get into a more sheltered area, what we have is flat, smooth, calm water. This is all a part of the same water body, but it's interacting differently depending on, basically depending on uh, like the geography around it, because fluid flux transforms and interacts with the geography around it. Isn't that crazy? That's so cool. So here's another example of the fluid flux simulation running real time live down geometry, right? You can see it. It's got a couple of floatable items in it. Uh, I, if I put my character in here in Ragdoll, he'll actually get picked up by the water push. Well, I think I got stuck on a rock. He'll get picked up by the water push and float down the stream. How crazy awesome cool is that? Like, that's nuts. That is so great. Uh, anyway, the water finds its way down the rocks, down the, you know, the static mesh of your world. And uh, what it will actually end up eventually doing is pooling in wherever it ends up, uh, you know, running into a, a blockade, a barricade, right? And it'll just end up pooling in that location. You can see here fluid flux actually being used to spin a water wheel. It's applying like a push physics to that. That's so cool. The developer of this, by the way, I've uh, had a few chats with him. He is a super cool, nice, friendly guy. Uh, really, really helpful when I tried to set up this uh, system on my own, uh, in my own, uh, in my own sort of demo world. Um, and yeah, just super kudos and super props to him. This looks so good. But what I was going to say is that when you create a fluid flux map, what you can do is uh, either a set a limited amount of water based on a certain amount of volume, or you can kind of set a continuous stream of water that will just kind of keep flowing and flowing and flowing. And eventually it would fill up this entire box uh, of area, which is just nuts. Just so, so crazy. But look at those. I mean, look at that water simulation. That's so cool. I wonder if you could get you could get like a surfboard and float on it uh, and surf it. That's what I'm wondering. Um, of course, you can make anything floatable, even your character. You can apply floats to where you want things to float from, float from, float from, have buoyancy from, uh, and um, and of course, it'll just float along in the water. It'll pay attention to the waves. The waves are actually like everything is um, realized in a sort of physical way, right? Like it's sort of almost physical water, right? In that uh, nothing's sort of, um, nothing's sort of faked, right? Like it all sort of reacts realistically to what you see. What you see is what you get, right? If you see a wave, then a character's buoyancy will interact with that specific wave at that specific speed, at that specific height, at that specific everything, which is just so nuts, so cool. Um, and it just looks beautiful. It looks so good. 
uh, here we go. Here we see like a, a cross section simulation of, of some of the waves. If I, of course, put down Ragdoll here, we just get swept up in the waves. A poor, poor survivor swept onto the, uh, swept onto the, after a shipwreck, swept onto the beach for a survival game or something like that. Anyway, so cool, so cool. Um, that's a look at it, guys. Uh, I think this is coming out really, really soon. I think Unreal Engine is just, uh, Marketplace is just updating the, uh, the asset. Uh, and so it should hopefully be ready to actually use. Uh, from what I know, it also works with the Voxel 2.0 plugin. Uh, so you can generate your landscape and your water, and oh, it's so good. It's just, it's so good. I nearly forgot to cover, I nearly forgot to mention uh, the underwater caustics. They just look great. They look so good. Swim up, swim down, swim along the surface. It's a beautiful thing. I think we had a quick glance at that, but isn't that nice? Isn't that just stunning? Imagine, oh, yeah, you, you, the creativity starts to go crazy when you start to imagine all the things you could do with this. Ah, oh, it's so good. Also, almost forgot to mention, uh, well, with the touch of a button or, you know, touch of an editor configuration variable, now we've got seas of blood. Uh, this is a hellscape now, <laughs> right? And we can also do things uh, that don't, aren't available to, sh to see in this demo, but I've tried in the uh, on, on the plugin myself. You can make the water thickness more thick and slow and more like, say, you wanted to create a, you know, a hellscape sea of blood or something crazy like that. You can do that. That's that's a thing you can do. Anyway, guys, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you to my first patron, 18 Carat. I appreciate it, brother. Okay, see you guys in the next video.